Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are continuing on with our patrol ship. As you guys can see right here, we added our gyrocopter in the previous video. Now, you guys might have noticed that this thing doesn't actually work. Like, it takes off and then it does some funky stuff. Now, I have come up with a theory. I've come up, came up with a theory that what actually happens is because the gyro is not level, uh, it actually tries to make itself level, which is is not this way up. It's actually sideways, which doesn't make sense. Uh, so, we're going to have to come up with a feature that allows this to work properly. Now, I do have an idea on how to do that, so today we're going to go ahead and fix that, and then we'll probably um, work on something else too. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so you might be thinking, how would you actually fix that? Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to delete this entire feature right here, this entire thing, uh, and then we're going to have to go into it with fresh eyes and fresh ears. Uh, that's not what I meant to say, but that's what, what I did say. Uh, and essentially, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have it so that it automatically spawns out, and then it reverses and goes back in, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to do exactly the same thing, but it's going to be inverted. Yeah, and then it should work fine. Okie dokie, so I've managed to actually get rid of that, which is awesome. We'll then grab all of this right here, which is obviously the thing that we do need. Uh, like, this is very important. There we go. We're going to go ahead and cut this, and we're going to paste it all the way back here. That's fine. Uh, but actually, undo that and paste it like this. No, like this. There we go. Paste it like this. All right, paste it there. Very good. We're then going to go back into this, and we're going to grab the things that we need. Now, what is that? <laughs> What is the thing that we need? We actually need to... Um, how does this work? How does this work? So we're going to delete this piece. Yeah, and we're going to grab this. Uh, so clear content from here all the way through to... Oh, God, where is it? I can barely see what's going on here. To there. All right, cool. We're going to then lower it down by one. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy this. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, do that. We're going to go ahead and cut this. And we're going to move it all the way out. So literally all the way out. Whoa, not like that. All the way out until we are not touching it anymore. There we go, just like this. And then what we do is we actually place the thingamabobby, which is this guy. Whoa, where is it? Where is it? I can't even see. This guy. Whoa. If we just copy it, that'd be easier. All right, copy that, delete this, bring it all the way backwards, and we put this here. Okay, but it needs to be the right color. So, we're going to make it pink real quick. Okay, and we're going to do this. Alright, good. Because then, with the pink, we can literally just do this. Boop. And there we go, it's the right colour. Okay, so with that being said then, if we paste this like this, we merge this bit on with that bit. Oh god, I can't even see it. Merge this with this. There we go, grab these pieces again, put them back. Very good. And then we put this piece back on there. We should be good. And then we spawn the gyro on top of this. And then it should be fine. I think it'll be fine. All right, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out ways of doing this properly, and this is the way that I think will actually work. So we'll grab this, we'll cut it, we'll move it back on. Whee, there we go. Move it upwards one, and we need to paste that on there. I guess literally just like that. Then we're going to merge this piece with this piece, very good. And then the gyrocopter is going to get pasted on there, and hopefully that will all work. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and try and figure out how this does actually work in this situation. So put that there right there for now. Uh, this bit on there, very good. And then this bit to the electricity. Either one of those. And then that to there. Okay, spawn it in, see what it does. Okay, it's not done a single thing. Interesting. Alright, do this. No, it hasn't done a single thing. Alright, interesting. Why? <laughs> Why has it not done anything, huh? Why has it not done a single thing? Uh, which way in is this? Okay, so that should be on one, and it should send it straight that way. Okay, which should work. In theory, that should work. It has electricity, it's been connected to this, which is a switched value, uh, and maybe that needs inverting. So we'll actually change this to there, and we'll put that on there. Okay, right. Now I spawn it in, it should work. Okay, see it's retracting? Okay, that's perfect. That one works. And now we need the one to fold down to actually work as well. So we need that to be inverted too. So essentially this is going to be this one instead. 
And then respawn it in. Let's see what it does. It should fold down. No? It should. I, I, I think. <laughs> it should, I think. It should fold downwards. It should at least fold somewhere. Currently, it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Uh, What is it connected to? So this one is minus one. So it should do something. Like, it should work. Realistically, that should be fine. Let's connect it to more things just to make sure it's got electricity. Okay. And then it, it should work. Right? I feel like it should. I don't know. Is there something wrong with it? Maybe? Hold on. Uh, that's connected to that, then this should move. It should move anyway. Okay, so let's say it does that, that's fine. And then let's say that we turn this off. What happens then? Is that not doing anything? Oh, that's not doing anything, that's stuck. Why is that stuck? Oh, it doesn't have any electricity, that's why. Alright, here we go, let's see what happens now. There we go, so it folds down. That's perfect, and it should f slide in, but it needs to be opposite. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so that is interesting. So, yeah, okay, so when this happens, that actually folds down, and when this happens, it slides in. Uh, very interesting. Also, it's one too long. It's actually one too long. So we're going to get rid of this piece. There we go. We're then going to grab all of this. We're going to cut it. We're going to put it right here. Okay, and I think... If we invert this guy, no way, it is right though. It is, like, technically right now it is correct. It just needs to be on a not gate. Is that right? Not? It might be a not gate. Okay, so let me put this here for now. There we go. Attach the not gate to it. So this goes to here and this goes to here like this. Now, in theory, it should work properly. Okay, so it stays out, as is. That's good. And then if we get here and we do this, it rolls in, just like so. Okay, so now, if we put the gyrocopter on, it should work, maybe. Okie dokie, grab the gyrocopter, let's go, go, go! Alright, grab that, and go all the way to the bottom, and grab this. There we go, grab this piece as well, and that will be pretty much everything. I believe that has actually got everything in it. Yes, it has. Alright, load up our ship. Guys, we might finally have a flying vehicle that actually does fit and work on our... Uh, on our ship, which would be awesome. Alright, here we go. We can also make the uh, thing smaller too, to be fair. We can make the, um... What do we call it smaller? This thing. It doesn't have to be this long. It really doesn't. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We need to paste it before I do that. Okay, paste. And now go. And now we'll see if it actually works. See, that's connected. Even though it dips underwater, it should be fine. That's good. Uh, I do need to sort that out. There's a hole there now. And now, if we go ahead and we jump on board, let's see if it works. Alright, press 1, do this. There we go, press 2. That does the gyro. Very good indeedy. And if we press 6, it now works. Guys, we did it! We did it! Yay! Okay, right, so it does actually depend which way the gyro spawns as to whether this thing will actually work or not. So in this situation, it does work. If we land it, I want to see if it still attaches. Because we haven't tried that yet. We haven't tried... We haven't tried actually attaching on to this. I don't know how we attach back on. Does anyone know? Does anyone know how to attach back on to a hard point? Because I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. It's not right. It's not working. Uh-oh. How do we attach back onto a hard point? I figured it would just go on. But it hasn't. It obviously hasn't worked. Uh-oh. Okay, so when you get one thing sorted, obviously uh, it breaks again. So that's a thing. Uh, essentially, launched. So, uh, outputs an on-signal if the connector is sent a launch signal by the parent. So this is the parent. Okay, this activates an on-signal. And then it should, I guess it releases. So release the connector when receiving an on signal. But then it should reattach when it's not receiving an on signal, right? I feel, maybe? I don't know. 
I don't know why that doesn't reattach, but anyway, that's a problem for next time. Anyway, spawn this in. There we go. And it does attach to begin with, which is awesome. And then if we do this, we can actually store it away underneath the depth chargers. Just like this. Alright, very good. That's fine, right? I think that's fine. And then if we wanted to drop the depth, depth charges, we just raise it up. We go ahead and we push this, and then we drop it in. Whee! Also, to those of you guys that are wanting me to have one button for this, um, I don't want to. I don't want to, and there is a good reason for it. It's because I do still have a time where I can actually time these before I drop them. Um, yeah, which is fine, right? I could add actual depth to them as well and add keypads, but we're not going to do that. Uh, because I like them the way they are. Also, the ocean is never that deep in this game, so it's fine. Seven seconds, it's completely fine. Anyway, that's all good. Okie dokie, and then once you get rid of the ones over there, you can actually go ahead and just slot this in just like this, and it actually ends up being fine, which is perfect. Uh, right here, I think we need to raise this up. It does need to be higher, because at the minute, it shoots everything down here. If it was raised, that would be way better. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and just delete it. There we go, that's all fine. Delete those as well. And we'll actually just go ahead and put these pieces in right there, go ahead and put these pieces in right here, and put that piece in right there. Make sure underneath, all of this is actually in properly. So if we do this, whee! There we go, it's all in properly, and that is awesome. Now, it would be nice if we did have a little bit of a, uh, a sit, uh, well, a setting for it. So, uh, presumably, if I did something like this, like a walkway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we had it come inwards, like this, I don't know, I don't know how much, that much, sure, delete that, there we go, and we have this come back together here, like so, then realistically, oh god, no, further out, further out, keep going with this, there we go, one, two, three, four, there we go, and then do this, very good, okay, so the anti-aircraft gun can go on there, we can actually delete this and put this in instead, and we can fill in the floor using this piece, whoop, which would be perfectly fine, as long as we got rid of these guys. Yes. Okay, very nice indeedy. That is fine. We're actually going to delete those as well. Fill that in. Put that in there. Very good. Okay, cool. So now, we're actually going to have a bit of a, uh, a setting again, which is perfect. Because honestly, I got rid of the helipad, and then it seemed like there was nothing here. Uh, so now we're going to have something here as well. There we go. And we'll put the anti-aircraft gun right on there, and hopefully it'll fit. And okie dokie, this is fine. So if we go ahead and drop this in here and we actually bring it out to there, which is unfortunate because then we'd have to delete these. Uh, but that's okay because we can just do that. There we go. We can delete that. And we can delete this. And we can honestly just put that in there like that. Whack this on there as well. And we can merge these all together. So merge this with this. That's all fine. Unfortunately though, I don't think this is going to work because I don't think we can fit one of these on. I don't think we can fit one of these in here. Unless we can. Oh my! Okay, right. We can only just fit one of those in there. But I guess if it works, it works. That's good. Alright, cool. Delete this. And what we'll do instead is we'll put this piece on. All the way across there like that. And we'll do something like this. Uh, to there. Okay, fantastic. And then if we can, we'll actually fit this in. And that's perfect. Very good. Okay, good. So this gun will currently work. Which is awesome. Uh, we do need these to fit in properly as well, so there we go, and there we go, that's good. And we obviously need electricity to go to this gun as well, so we'll do that, and we'll do that. Okay, and now we can actually use the gun now. Perfect! Perfecto! Okay, spacebar is going to shoot them both, and that is all we need. Okay, so the anti-aircraft gun is moved, the helicopter does fit on the back, which is awesome, and it does currently work this time, so we fixed it. Good. Uh, this foot underneath needs painting, but once we get on the gun up there, oh, there we go, we can actually aim and shoot. There we go, yeah, this is a much better place for it too. This is a much, much, much better place for it. That's perfect, yes! Alright, I like it. Okay, so you guys might be thinking, there is still like a wide open space on the back end that sort of needs filling in, and I would agree with you, I feel like it does need something, so we're going to extend this up a little bit like this. We're then going to do something like this. There we go. Uh, probably not this far back, actually. It's going to be relatively small. There we go. Put that, that on there like that. We'll attach it together. And what this will be is an extra fuel tank for, let's say, the, the gyrocopter and stuff. Because uh, it is kind of necessary. So let's go ahead and put this in like this. Whoop. All the way to there. Fill this in across the top. All right, good. And fill this in across here. And there's an extra fuel tank 
that we can keep. Very good. I'm actually going to delete this. I want it to look nice. And currently we don't have anything that makes things look nice. So what about adding this? Here we go, across the top of there. Makes it look a little bit more uh, fitting of being here. There we go, we'll do that as well. And we'll also do this. However, on these two pieces, we'll have it go like that. Boop. And same on this bit. Uh, boop. There we go. Awesome. So we got an extra fuel tank. Uh, and this will be used to actually refuel this guy. Where does it get refueled from, though? Here. All right, cool. Yeah, that's totally possible. Also, we're going to have it spawn in so that this automatically actually comes in. Okay, very good. Uh, the next thing as well is we do need to make this thing actually, like, combat available so we need to attach some weapons to it but for now we'll actually change its color uh to our green there we go and that's the color it's gonna be that's awesome i might add something else to this as well the walkway but i'm not sure for right now i think that'll work all right cool leave it as is and it'll be good yes all right cool save it as is there we go awesome and i'm happy i'm actually very happy with that that's good Okay, so with this extra fuel tank then, let's go ahead and fill in some bits. We need a dial. There we go. The dial is going to go at the very top, and it's going to be the right color. Here we go. So the dial's going to go right here. It's going to go right there. That's good. We need a hose connector thingamabobby. Here we go. One's going to be in, one's going to be for out. And we'll put a hose right in the middle, like so. And we'll honestly put some buttons in so that we can actually refuel both ways. There we go. We then need a pump. Uh, in order to do both, so fuel pump, we'll do one one way and one the other way, and then hopefully we'll be able to refuel and, uh, yeah, restock this thing as well. So this is in. Uh, fluid port, let me grab one of those. Where is it? There it is. So this is actually out, and this is in. Okay, so uh, in. Fluid, sorry, fuel, in. Okay, and fuel, out. There we go, that's all we need. That's going to connect straight up to there. That's going to connect straight down to there. These guys need electricity. So does this one. M and bam. There we go. Now we can refuel our thingamabobbies. That's perfect. Good. Oh, I guess we should actually add fuel to it to begin with as well. So fluid uh, spawner. There we go. We'll add a spawner to it. Uh, we also need to add a meter to it as well. Uh, so that we can actually see how much is in it too. Because we will be refueling this thing as well. So level, bam. All right, we're good. Guys, we're good. The back deck, does it look so weird now? Mm, I think it works. I think that, that little box being there works. The anti-aircraft gun being there works as well. I honestly think that's fine. That is actually fine. All right, cool. How much do we have? 1,800. How much does this even carry? Let me go ahead and send it out. Jump on board. There we go. How much fuel does this thing actually carry? 20. Oh, times 20 times uh, 4. Is that 4 or 5? 20 times 4. Interesting. So it carries 80. Oh, and we've, we're carrying 1,800 extra fuel. Well, that doesn't make sense, but sure. Cool. All right, well, anyway, uh, that's it. That's it. That's good. We fixed our helicopter problem. It does actually work now, which is awesome. Uh, we've added extra fuel for it, so we can actually refuel our helicopter. Um, yeah, alright, that's good. That is very, very good. Anyway, for right now, I think I'm going to end this here. Uh, and in the next one, what we'll probably do is we'll work on the downstairs, we'll get this sorted, and then I think we'll put it on the workshop and you guys will be able to use it. And then we'll move on to the next creation, which is, well, I don't know. I think it might be a plane, but we'll see. Anyway, for right now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.